can't believe it. Right. 25 minutes into our summer vacation, and I'm bored stiff. <laughs> bored is not the word. Oh, I'm itching, my eyes are running. Maybe we should go to a movie. We've seen everything. Except <laughs> that documentary on rural agriculture. It's better than just sitting around a pool rotting. Hey, does it occur to anyone else that something is wrong, that we have everything here that we could possibly want, and we're not making the most of it? This is not everything I want, Matt. What more do you want? I want a job. Yeah, jobs are all right. Yeah, but nobody wants to give me one. Well, I keep telling you, Tracy, it's kind of hard to come by summer work as a junior executive. Yeah, but there's got to be something between that and dishing up french fries. Well, no. Hey, yeah, but it pays, pays good, good money. Good mo <laughs> See that? Oof. We have the same conversations over and over and over. <sighs> well, let's face it, you guys. The three of us have been spending an awful lot of time together lately. Oh. Yeah, well, it looks like we're gonna spend a lot more time together. Well, 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 would you look at this? Is this the life or what? Hi, Mrs. McKinnon. Hi. Guys look a little bored, though. We are bored. There's nothing to do, nothing to say. Is this all there is? Oh, do I have something for you? What can I do? Mrs. McKinnon, did you just give me your phone number here? I just gave you the phone number of the party phone. The party phone? Mm-hmm. It's a new teen line that's been started at the hospital. You get terminally bored, you can call in, talk to other kids. <laughs> you mean other geeks, don't you? Geeks? Kids that don't have anything better to do than talk to kids they've never even met. <laughs> oh, but not knowing who you're talking to is part of the fun. Oh, well, this is where you make up a code name, right? Right. Uh, sounds pretty geeky to me. <laughs> well, the code name is so that nobody really knows who you are, so they can't decide at midnight to come over and trash your house or something. I don't know. I kind of like to talk to those guys that come over and trash your house. <laughs> we have a little tiny attitude problem here. <laughs> Miss McKinnon, I think it's a good idea um, for kids, you know, that don't have enough on the ball socially to... No, no, no. It's not just social. It's, it's you can call in, you can talk about your problems. You can maybe help each other. Great. We can swap remedies for acne. <laughs> That's it. I just ran out of all the compassion I have for three people who are on vacation sitting around a pool. Um, I'm sorry, Mrs. McKinnon. I mean, I think it's really great that you're doing this phone thing. And there are probably some kids that might even like it. But... You know what we really need? What we really need is people to volunteer to man the phones. So, um, <laughs> well, it's just that, uh, how can I say this? We're a little too cool for that, sort of. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if Amanda knows what's waiting for her in 17 or 18 years. Uh, have fun at the shower. Maybe amnesia wasn't that bad. <laughs> Can you imagine? Whoever thought of an idea like this? Oh, can you imagine the geeks on that line? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's get ready, everybody. You want to see the nest first, trust me. Oh, I'm so <laughs>
teach me to print. <laughs> oh, well, just somebody tell me, why do those two singers, those other two, stay in the back all the time? <laughs> well, hey, Liz, like you could be back up front. <laughs> My little right, singer. Thank you, Grandma, for bringing me. I'm really having a great time. <laughs> That's the idea, sweetheart. <laughs> well, is it time now for refreshments and presents before we Ooh. even know whether this baby's a boy or a girl? How do we figure that out? Oh, it's extremely scientific. Give me your wedding ring. If I can get it. <laughs> While she's doing that, I need a piece of string, string. or any piece of okay. ribbon. Okay. Here, Lisa, so what was that little right. wisecrack about the nose? Here, here, here. All right. Why don't we go out in the hall, Vicki? Okay. That's a fabulous idea. Yeah. Sit in the chair. Okay. And sort of lean back a little bit. Okay. 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 Take it easy, I have to get... I'm not tight in this. Just a second. Hold on. All right. Here it comes. It's coming through. Okay. okay. We got it. Now. All right. If it goes back and forth, uh -huh. it's a girl. If it goes sideways, it's a boy. I thought it was the other way. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mom? <laughs> what, honey? Girl or boy? I just want that baby to be as beautiful and, and intelligent as its parents, <laughs> but not as stubborn. Mm. The jury's out on this. <laughs> I don't think it's so <laughs> Okay, so everyone who thinks it's swinging back and forth, raise your hands. Oh, great. It's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're just going to have to wait. Oh. Do we have to wait any longer for those presents? I'm going to die of curiosity. No, bring on the loot. Bring on the loot. Okay, <laughs> bring on the loot. Okay. Oh, hi. Honey. Where did you go? Oh, I just went out to get some air. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah? Okay. You must be pretty busy at the hospital these days. Yep, pretty busy. <laughs> Do you have time in your schedule to see someone else? Oh, of course. Who did you want me to see? Me. Yes, well, her water just broke a few minutes ago, but she's not having any contractions yet. Wait, wait. Um, does contraction feel like, like a big cramp right here? Yes. Um, and I've had one. Oh. Make that two. <gasps> she's gonna have the baby here? No, she well, isn't, dear. No. She's having oh. contractions. Okay, she's having contractions, too, now. But this baby isn't due for another month. I know that, but don't tell me. Tell it. Well, it's okay. You don't have anything to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> so I'm not worried, really. I, no. mean, I thought that I would be worried. I, I can't believe I'm not. Is that strange? No. I feel like I'm talking a lot. Am I talking You're a lot? talking a lot. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm actually going to get to meet this baby. <laughs> okay, she's about four weeks ahead of her due date. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look, the hospital is going to notify yeah, yeah. the doctor. I think we should probably get you over there. Okay. Well, what about Sam? Well, we'll call Sam. No, I have a better idea. I'll go to the loft myself and tell him that good luck. <laughs> Mom? Is Vicky okay? Amanda, can you walk? Sure. Okay. Okay. Here All right, we go. Honey. Come on. Yeah, right. There you go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys ready for the next generation? We're ready and waiting. <laughs> oh, thank you for the present. I, I'll call you... And I'm a mother. Oh, come on, come on, come on. What about Daddy? We'll call him. We'll call him from Amanda, the you can stop making lists now. Is really bright now? Yes, she's on a right hand. Well, thank you for telling us. Uh, should I go over there? No, no, your mom said she'd call when the baby's born. But I'm going to be an uncle. Yes. <laughs> How's Amanda? Well, it's not going to be a day at the beach, but she'll be fine. I gotta go. Oh, Miss McKinnon, we call that number. The geek line? Yeah, it, it, um, <laughs> it was pretty fun, actually. Yeah? And um, if you need any volunteers. All right, I will call on you. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks a lot. Uh, I, we were wrong. Oh, there's nothing more charming than a man who can admit for himself and all of his friends that they were wrong. That's true. <laughs> He'll probably be a great uncle. Probably. <laughs> oh, how's Sam? He must be excited. I don't know. We've been trying to reach him. We can't. Hey, you can't reach? I wonder where he could be. At least we can be comfortable. Okay. So excited for Amanda. Yeah, me too. Do you have any feelings at all about the baby? Oh, no. I think that's for the best. Probably. By the way, that was terrific work that you did in helping to find Mikey. I hope you realize how grateful everybody is. Well, I was doing my job. I'm glad I could help, but Jason was the real hero there. Well, you have very special gifts. 
And I was hoping that you would be able to use them to help us some more. You mean to find Mikey's parents? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Mary, I've tried. I've done everything I could think of, but... Well, Nothing. see, I had a, an idea of something that might um, enable you to get in touch with your abilities a little more, and then we can make better progress. What do you mean? I thought maybe we might try hypnosis. Now, there have been so no, cases... I don't want to do that. Hey. Why are you so resistant to being hypnotized? I just think it's kind of scary, having someone dig around in your mind. Well, it isn't digging, really. It's more like pushing. <laughs> Pushing the obstruction out of the way so that the other stuff can get to the surface. And you think that would make it easier to see psychically? It could. Well, that, that's what scares me, Mary. And people think this ability is a kind of a gift, but I don't see it that way. Why? I think it's sort of a monster. Mary, it, it just happens to me. I have no control over it. And it's usually when I don't want it. But you use it to do such good things, to help solve police cases, to find lost children. Yeah, to break up my relationship with Jamie. You want to elaborate on that one? No. It's not important. What is important is these premonitions just happen. And sometimes it hurts. And I think hypnosis would just be like opening up a huge Pandora's box. All right, I tell you what, why don't you just, just think about it a little bit. Because if, by any chance, you changed your mind, Mary, I, I would guarantee... I won't, I don't have enough control in my life as it is. That's a big word, control. Have you noticed that you've used it twice now? It's important to me. Yes, I think it is to all of us. You said you wanted to talk to me. What was the reason for that? Um, I was just upset. I'm back on track now. Did it have something to do with your relationship with Jamie? Sort of. Do you want to schedule a couple of sessions? No, Mary, I've just got everything under control now. I, I... Control. I hope you understand that just because you have a problem and you feel that you need a little help in dealing with it, that does not indicate that there's anything wrong with you. What it shows is that you're smart enough or wise enough to realize that, that you need to work at getting your life to be as good for you as it can possibly be. Yeah. Uh, no, just wait there one second. Yes. Hi, Dr. Peck. Yes, I heard about the convention. Oh, well, that's... that's kind of short notice. I, I don't think I could do it. Well, isn't there someone else? <sighs> okay. Yes. Yes, I will. I will get in touch with your secretary. Thank you. You don't look pleased. Oh, there's a health care convention in Florida, in Palm Beach, and our representative from our department uh, can't go, and I think I just got elected. Well, I can think of worse things than being in Palm Beach. I have patients here. I have this hospice starting. I have a husband who is not going to be thrilled about this. <sighs> well, at least I wouldn't be alone. Jamie's there, isn't he? Mm-hmm. OK, let's get back to talking about, about therapy now. Oh, uh, Mary. Have to... OK, I just want you to think about it. That's all. It's another option. And it's one that could give you some control again in your life. I know. But um, there are other ways, too. I intend to use them.